Hello, what's up? Welcome to Giga Band Channel. I'm Sammy, and today we'll be reviewing the Xiaomi Femi A3 Zoom. We already unboxed in the last video. If you haven't seen it, please feel free to click here to watch it. All right, in this video, we are going to cover the design of the Femi A3 and review flying experience and the camera performance. Let's go. Let's take a closer look at the Femi A3. On the bottom, we see a 1080p 2-axis gimbal. The official info says Max 2-axis gimbal. This is the results later in this video. Moved on, we got a DIY port. Basically, you can connect LED lights, fireworks, or even shoot out a parachute. Last is the power key, short press plus long press to turn the drone on and off. Squeeze the battery buckle to take out the battery. The capacity is 2000 mAh. Takes about two and a half hours to fully charge and has up to 25 minutes of flight. That's quite amazing. In the battery compartment, we see a SD card slot and a micro USB port, which enables you to transfer the data. To install the propellers, it's very easy. Just choose the propellers with the same color mark as on the motor. Align the motor shaft and press down. Rotate, done. Let's talk about remote controller. What's cool about this thing is it embeds a LCD screen. It shows all the basic information about your zoom. In the left side, it has a power button and a mode switch key, which allows you to switch between sports mode and the GPS mode. On the right side, it features a return to home key and a five direction buttons. Toggle it and you can set everything you need here. Open the cover on the bottom, we see a micro USB port, a SD card slot to record the screen, and the port for FPV goggles. The back has two buttons. The button B is the shoot record key. The button A is the IO switch button for DIY port. Overall, I would say the Xiaomi Fame E3 has the same design language as the medium 4K. It feels elegant and refined. The polished shield has a really good look. Besides, it's really lightweight comparing to its predecessor, easy to carry anywhere. For the remote controller, the biggest surprise is it comes with a large LCD screen. That saves lots of hassle and could enable you to connect the drone within seconds. It's awesome. The moment I took off this drone, holy smoke, that's a really good one. First of all, it's less noisy. Judging from the propellers, obviously Femi did borrow some experience from DJI low noise props. Second, it's really responsive. If you want to go even crazier, you can switch to sports mode. Just check out how fast that thing goes. Third, it's stable. Insane stable. When hovering in the sky, it barely moves. It's just so much fun to fly it. And the weather here this day is, is not too good. We'll post more footage later when the light gets better. My impression of this camera performance is it's quite usable. The footage is so stable. Even better than some 3 axis gimbal footage. To be honest, I didn't quite expect the astonishing performance of this drone considering the price. But again, Xiaomi surprises people like me from the drone world. It has excellent design, really good looking. It's relatively small and portable, so you can carry it with you easily. The flying experience is super good. It takes only a few seconds to connect the drone and fly. It's responsive, fast, and stable. And the footage is quite usable. And you are going to love it. Uh, thanks for watching the, the review of the Femi A3. I will put more footage later and I'll put all the links in the description for you to check more. I'm Sammy. See you in next videos.